Okay, so I'm here with Gatesha. Diana Gatesha Hernandez. Diana Gatesha Hernandez. Yes, that's me. The fabulous painter, the fabulous massage therapist, and most important of all, the fabulous vocalist, jazz singer, who incorporates poetry and jazz. That's me. And I'm here in her summer getaway <laughs> in, um, where am I, where is this? You're Spring? at the Lovebird Inn, darling. The Lovebird Inn, here I am, here we in are. In Springland, New York. In Springland. Circa 2016, August. August. At Hot, the sweaty night. Right, at the end of the <laughs> summer, the pool has been in. Still open. The pool is still open. Uh -huh. But and it's a great pool. We should Not actually a lot go of swim here after this. Yeah, oh, that would be fun. But the moon is not full. It's I the know, end so it's of the dark. moon cycle. So, so I'm just so I'm. We're here, and I just want to ask, what do you think about the whole uh, state of jazz vocalization these days? What do you think? I mean, you think it's? I think it's a big. Isation going on. Isation? What the is that? Is a vocalization, you oh. say. So it's the isation part that I'm doing. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that it's, uh, you know, I love music. I love to sing. and But um, I'm trying to figure out where the hell I can sing. Because you, you also play drums, right? I do. You play do. drums. I'm a student. And I'm working. W I've been studying with Billy Kay, Mr. Billy Kay, and Walter Williams, and... Uh, Cliff Barbaro, you know, some great drummers giving me some lessons, and I love it. It's just, I think it's in, innate. It's in me. And right. I really, I like, um, just, it's a joy. So I love playing and singing at the same time. That's my little shtick. Right. And I've heard you do that, actually, which mm -hmm. is really a, a treat because you have, like, this uh, subtle style where you sing a nice ballad, you'll do, you know, uh, play time, you'll do 12-8, a little 12-8 kind of things. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite song to accompany yourself on drums on? You know, any song I can get my hands on. I'm not, I don't have any favorites right now. But I have to say, I started more on You Go To My Head. Okay. I don't know, that was like kind of started me off, but... Right. Um, it's just, you know, I feel like I'm actually able to be in the band when I'm playing the drums. So it's like there's a unity that I'm, I'm having this host. I'm, I'm unionizing with the musicians and fraternizing with them in a different way than I would be if I was just the vocalist up front. So I feel like I'm behind the scenes and I'm also in front of the scenes. So it's kind of like really... It's a different experience, you know. I feel sandwiched, like it's more complete for me. Right, right, you right, know? right, right. I love right. it. It's just, and then you know, you're setting the rhythm, so they can't but go so far. They can't just poof, they venture can't out, leave over. you way behind, or right. they can't you know, take like, over and Bye do it guys, their way. Guys, remember me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's, mm -hmm. it's nothing like that because they have to come back to the rhythm. Everyone has to come back to the heartbeat. You know? Right, 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 right. That's what I love about it. Yeah. So, um, you live in New York City, mm -hmm. and you recently had a art uh, opening. show, mm -hmm. had an art opening for your paintings. Right. And your paintings that were exhibited were um, pieces that were from what year? Oh, uh, I'm... I think the earliest piece that's in there might be in the, in the 19, early 80s, mm. like 1980. Now, some of those paintings were exhibited at the New Yorican mm -hmm. in New York City. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about the New Yorican Poetry Cafe. Right, Poets Cafe. Right, which is uh, on what? Thir East 3rd. East 3rd Street. East 3rd, between Th B and C. Right, and right now what goes on there is Rome Neal has a little banana poetry right. pudding thing mm -hmm. and... There's a lot of activity over there still, because it's been... The originator of that place was... Miguel Algarin. Ma Miguel yeah. Algarin. Yeah, and actually Willie Correa, and you know, Willie as the father Correa. of my child. And um, he and 
about five other people. Actually, Willie was the one who found that new location because the early New Yorkian was in the 70s. And that's when I was like a tot, you know, a, t- a teeny bopper venturing out to the East Village from Brooklyn. Brooklyn! So you're and, a, Bro- uh, so you're a, a New York girl. girl. You're yeah, a New York well, girl. I was born in Puerto Rico, actually. Right. And I was there a whole one month old. So uh-huh. it wasn't too long before they dragged me out of that beautiful paradise and too bad. brought me to Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what were you thinking, man? <laughs> this place is too gorgeous. So your par- your dad was a trumpet player? He was a trumpet player. Right. Yeah. He, he was a leader, band leader. He had a Benny Goodman style swing band. Mm-hmm. And all in Brooklyn. I mean, he came from, you know, Puerto Rico as my mother. He came in the 30s uh, when he was born, right after he was, well, he was five years old when he came. And, um, you know, he was in the military, he was in the Navy, and, you know, and played in the Navy band. When he came out, he just said, you know, he was just a lover of the music, so he started a band, a big band, and just got, you know, caught up in the whole industry, the, the nastiness of it, and the heroin was big in the streets and he had so he kind of went through the 40s yeah i guess it was the 40s into the into 50s. the 50s yeah right. right that was when the bebop thing started happening right and, and he he managed to go through that whole period but then he decided that yeah in the 50s early 50s he just said that's it's, it it's not happening i think he got married to my mother in 1953. Right. And then... And then my, you know, then... Your brother, you my have a brother, brother right? Your brother, and your brother's in... What? He's an actor, right? He's an actor, and he's also a singer and a guitar player. And he lives in lives Italy. Lives in Italy. Not right. jazz, but R&B. He knows all the standards, all the Beatle tunes, Stone tunes. He had a blues area in Italy, and he was the singer. He, you know, was co-owner of a, a Buddha the... Zorb, Zorba the Buddha Disco, that happened in Germany, and they did a lot of performances, and he was with the Living Theater for many years, and he, um, you know, he was always into music, so yeah, I mean, the music translated, my mother was a dancer, I told you that. Right. So right. she was a flamenco dancer from Puerto Rico, she used to tour the island as a child, actually. Right. And when she came here, she settled, I mean, you know, she had babies, and that was it. And um, she put me in dance school. Dance school? I was in dance school since the age of five, oh six boy. years old. So oh, I was yeah, taking yeah, ballet, yeah. tap, and African rhythm. Mm-hmm. And I loved wow. it. I actually was really good at it. And mm-hmm. then, I mean, I loved the, the rhythmic thing, which is goes back to the drums. Of course. But, um, you know, I was kind of pissed when they gave my brother guitar lessons. And they said, no, you stick with the dance, you know. Right. And at right. that point, I was like, I wanted to be with the boys, you know. Right. It's like, I didn't want to be stuck in a ballet fun. class. Right. Yeah. And it was of more course, fun. You know, yeah, everyone was hanging out, you know, those were the days. So what about the poetry? And well, that was a result. I mean, I, I won a haiku contest when I was in second grade. <laughs> and um, I don't know where the hell this haiku came from, really. I mean, it's kind of bizarre. But it just like the words popped out of like right in front of me. I mean, I was in second grade, so what was I like eight years old or something? Seven, seven. seven. Yes, yeah, seven. The first grade is was... six. Second grade is seven. You know, third grade is eight. Bomb. Fourth grade is nine. Fifth yeah. grade is ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was a heavy poem for second grade. I don't. I really don't know where it came from. It was, but it caught me by surprise. And I was, that was titillating. That was exciting to me. The you know? creativity of it all. That, the fact that something could just appear. Yeah. And that all of a sudden it's like, here it is. Yeah. You take it. Right. It's so, yours. Yeah. You Run do something. It. Put it out. Run you with know? it. Right. So it was, you want to hear the poem? Sure. I still remember it. Go it's ahead. It's my first one. Okay. Silent ships that sail, carrying my disasters, now melt in the snow. Mm, for that's for a seven-year-old uh, <laughs> wow the teacher was like what is this what the hell is this girl being beaten regularly by her parents or what <laughs> well thank you for spending these short minutes with us and this is uh 
Sarah James and interviewing the wonderful Deanna Katesha Hernandez, who is from New York. Okay, let's go. Cool. Okay, so this is wonderful. Thank you so much for spending time with me with the Jazz Singers Salon dot com and um, giving us a little more info on what you're up to and what you're doing creatively. September 3rd, Cleopatra's Needle, I will be there. Please right, come. this is September 3rd, 2016 yeah, at Cleopatra's like Needle, next week, Saturday. which is a wonderful uh, venue in Manhattan on Broadway in mm -hmm. the 90s. 92nd and Broadway, no cover. 92nd Street and Broadway, no cover, and uh, Deanna will be there. Katesha. Diana Gatesha well, or Gatesha Diana. Known however. as Gatesha when I sing. Known as Diana when I paint. Uh, when I write poetry. Known as her when I paint. Paint. So you have a mixed bag. A, a I'm, mixed, a, I'm a I'm a mixed bag. Yes, you. Yes, a multi, multi a multi media conundrum. Talent. <laughs> yes, a, mu a multimedia talent. We understand that. We can go with that. That's what we <laughs> thank like. You, thank yeah, you. Thank you. I'm glad like. somebody so, understands. <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time and spending that with uh, these few minutes with us. Oh, and yeah. We'll catch up with you later. All right. And sister, I'm very excited. Sister Sarah. Have darling. fun on September 3rd, 2016. I hope, I hope to see you. At Cleopatra's Needle. Yeah. And uh, come and sing a tune or play an instrument. Well, thank you, dear. We do a jam, you know, there afterwards. So oh, and there's a jam after. You got so. talent? Come on out. Yeah. So all those, all you talented Crazy people, people that want to express yourself, come on down. Exactly. So, signing off, and uh, we'll see you later. Ciao, Nada. To be continued. Exactly. www the Jazz Singers Salon dot com. Keep singing. Thank you. Keep swinging. <laughs>